One of the beautiful things about cooking in a green egg barbecue is the fact that you can slow cook. You can use it like an oven. That's where those flavors, that longer cooking, everything all about it, the coals, the smoke, just everything that you want from outdoor cookery, slow cooking in one of these is incredible. And to slow cook, you need pieces of meat like this. So this is a slow cooked porchetta style piece of pork belly and a big green egg. So we're gonna stuff the pork belly, which turns it into a porchetta. Now porchetta is kind of like an Italian style cured pork belly and it's got wonderful flavors. And that Italian flavor we want to drive forward. So it's gonna start off with onion. And this is diced up fennel. It goes so well with pork. I've got some green olives, garlic, pine nuts. I've got some andouille sausage, okay? So this is very, very similar to the Spanish style chorizo. It's a little bit higher in fat content, but it's got that wonderful kind of warmth and spice that comes from it. And the mix together of all of these flavors stuffed into a slow cooked pork belly, it is incredible. I have here my green egg, nice and hot. And in it, I've got a pan getting lovely and warm. So the first thing I'm going to do is throw in some veg oil and then into that, the onion and the fennel. Give it a stir around straight away. It starts to cook, heats up. And this is the beauty about green egg is you can use it for frying as well. But whilst that is frying up, here I've got three cloves of garlic that have been peeled. I'm just going to roughly chop them. So the onions, fennel and the garlic sweat it down. Put in the chopped green olives, pine nuts, and then the andouille sausage. And you're just gonna put it in, stir it around, okay? And you'll find that the warmth of that pan will gently wilt the sausage. And it'll act a little bit like butter and it's just to kind of mix everything together. So I'm just gonna empty this mix out going to leave to one side to cool down and the sausage will set up just a little bit more so you can work it use it as a proper stuffing so now it comes to the amazing piece of pork and you've got to get really good pork belly that's got this wonderful kind of dry skin on it this is the thing that will give it that wonderful crackling okay a beautiful piece of pork belly just like that amazing get yourself a very sharp knife and just score maybe about a centimeter a half all the way through the skin and then the other way then we're going to butterfly it out okay so the point of butterflying it out is so that we can wrap it all up beautifully put your knife in about halfway up and work your way down and we're going to do it all the way around but when you get to this back end here make sure you finish about there giving yourself a couple of centimeters at the end and then slowly just work your way with the knife through where you've cut and open up the pork belly all the way down until you've opened it out onto the beautiful page in Tom Kerridge's outdoor cooking where it's got this exact recipe on looks just like a book then with your knife score the middle just like we did on the skin and we're going to season it up some rock salt some cracked black pepper and don't be shy with the seasoning either and this some fennel seeds now this will match nicely with the fennel that we've put through the stuffing mix just sprinkle them on then to go on top got here some sage leaves just with your knife just give it a little chop sprinkle the sage on top then get your cooled stuffing mix we're going to spread it all over both sides of the pork belly I mean, that looks incredibly exciting already. Look at it, it looks amazing. So we're gonna roll it up, a little bit like a Swiss roll, all right? We're gonna roll upon itself and then roll it again into the skin. And get yourself some butcher's string and put the string underneath the port, find dead center, come round over yourself, in, and tie it into a knot. Now pull that string tight against yourself and then this string can pull away that will hold it and it will tighten it. And pull it through again, tighten it again. We're always gonna start from the middle because that way you go out that way and then out that way. And we're gonna do around about five bits of string each half. 
And then once you've gone all the way around, you're going to do over the top to hold it in place either end. And then one around the sides. And then that, ladies and gentlemen, is your porchetta ready to go in the big green egg. So here, I've got a little tray with the rib bones taken from the pork belly, all right? And I'm going to put them directly onto the cooking plate in the green egg. And then we're going to stick the pork belly on top of the bones, cook it for around about three and a half to four hours. Two hours in, and it looks like that. It smells amazing. I'm going to close it up again. We'll come back to it in another two hours' time. Right, another two hours have gone. I mean, kind of. What we've done is I've cooked one anyway that was in there and we've swapped it over. But shh, because otherwise you'd have noticed that the sun would have gone down. But look at how amazing that looks. Crispy, crunchy, crackling. Strings on it. So just get your scissors, snip and remove the string. And get yourself a serrated knife. Bits of crackling, a little bit like glass. I mean, it's amazing. And then just. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Still moist, still juicy, still amazing. That stuffing is incredible. Look at that. One more slice. That is well worth all that time that you put into it. And that lovely slow cook on a big green egg. Absolutely beautiful. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the porchetta stuffed with endure. And it tastes lush. 